The agenda is being set as Governor-elect Tony Evers gets ready to take over as Wisconsin's 46th governor. He won a narrow victory in a state that remains politically divided, but in a one-on-one -on -one interview, Evers tells me his inauguration speech will strike a bipartisan tone. It's going to be about hope and um, making sure that people understand how important it is to be intentional about hope. You, you, it just doesn't happen. What big ideas do you think you can get passed and signed into law with a Republican-controlled legislature? Well, I think the areas that we ran on, education, uh, health care, and, and transportation, I think we can make some progress. Evers is also hopeful about a campaign promise to deliver criminal justice reform. His optimism comes from an unusual Oval Office meeting between President Trump and Kim Kardashian West and the recently signed bipartisan federal criminal justice reform bill. If Donald Trump and Kim Kardashian can do it in Washington, D.C., uh, we can do something here in Wisconsin. Have you reached out to Kim Kardashian? Not, no, not yet, but I may. It works, it works so well in D.C. Kardashian was able to persuade President Trump in May to commute the life sentence of a Memphis woman for cocaine trafficking. Evers will have to persuade state Republicans who have expressed reluctance to release criminals. We have to make sure that we, we, uh, we do the right thing with people and making sure that they're rehabilitated and they get back in their families. Evers will take the oath of office at the Capitol in Madison. That's next Monday. We will have live coverage on air and online at TMJ4.com.